Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to install macOS on VMware Workstation 12 Pro. So let's just jump right in and get started. So you're going to need two things. You're going to need VMware and you're going to need um, a Mac ISO disk image, a uh, virtual hard drive. So I'm going to leave the download link below so you can just download it straight. I already have the ISO image, it's right here, and I have the VMware. So in order to get started, you're going to have to, you can't create a new virtual machine, you're going to have to open a virtual machine. So it's going to take you directly to your ISO image, and you choose it. And you're going to edit some configurations, and then you start it up. So the first thing you're going to do is change the memory to 2002 2 gig. So it's 2000 megabytes. The processors, we're going to keep one. And the hard disk, you're going to have to remove it and add a new hard disk. Use an existing virtual disk and browse for your file. It should take you directly to the file. You can choose this option right here. Press finish. Keep existing format. And that's pretty much it. Your display, everything is good. You don't have to touch anything else. You are going to have to install VMware tools, which I'll get into later on. So for now, let's just start it. Okay, so over here you're just going to set everything up, choose all your options. You could sign in if you want or not, just skip it for now and sign in later on. Just agree to all the terms.
put in some login details. And create an account. If you're trying to run Xcode on this, you could only run Xcode 4. If you're going to run Xcode 5 and 6, you're going to need to download Mavericks or Yoast Mites, the later versions. This version is kind of older. So just wait for it to set up. You're going to have to install VMware tools separately. I don't think you could do it directly. Because with that VMware tools, you can't change the screen resolution. And it could be a little laggy and slow, the performance. So I'm going to leave a link below. So you can just download it from insanelymac.com. And you can install it right away. So that's pretty much it. So we just installed it. This is the UI. Um, just wait for it, you know, give it some time for it to set up. And that's it. You could browse right away, it's already connected to the internet. If you have any questions, you could just email me. I'll leave the link below. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a nice day.